I fooled myself as well. You know, as I said, I lied to a lot of people, deceived a lot of people, kept others in the dark, um, rationalized, you know, and and even lied to myself. And uh, now that's uh, when you when you strip all that away, you start realizing what you know. When I stripped that all that away and started realizing what I had done, um, the full magnitude of it, it's uh, it's pretty brutal. Well, that was the news conference. A lot of folks were waiting to see Tiger Woods yesterday facing questions from the media ahead of this weekend's Masters Golf Tournament. Tiger very candid at times saying he didn't only fool his friends and family, but he fooled himself. So we are joined by Mike Lindstrom, our life coach and motivational speaker this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you said that he should have done this press conference weeks ago, I right? Was, I was literally blown away from between this and what we saw uh, a couple months ago where he read it from a statement. Right. He went in and he took honest questions. He was yeah. from the heart. You can hear in the tone of his voice. He, he made eye contact with everybody. I think if he would have done this, quite frankly, in January or February, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about this the week of the Masters. Do you think that a person can change? Can he change who he is? You know, the one question that came up that he kind of did dodge, that was kind of subtle. One reporter followed up with, well, what was the addiction? And he said, that's personal. And to move on to the next thing. So we really don't know what it was. Was it drugs? Was it alcohol? Was it the pills? Right. Was it the sex addiction? Right. So there's the answer is yes. I have, I have clients I've coached over the years, high-profile leaders that have gone through rehab and come out of it and stayed sober their whole life. But we don't really know what the personal issue is that he's referring to still. Uh, Jesse James, that, that, that came into the news, obviously, kind of a similar situation. Did that take some of the heat off Tiger? Uh, I think so, yeah. I, especially coming off of, uh, you know, her winning that big award and having him sit there and get acknowledged by Sandra Bullock. And Sandra Bullock, I mean, let's look. She is like the sweetheart of America. And to, the timing of this it definitely took a lot of the heat off Tiger. But the Masters, I think, has taken the heat off, uh, off of Tiger Woods right. because people want to see this guy play I, golf. I know. I, I, everybody just is like, okay, uh, this happened a while back. Yep. We've talked about it. Let's see if he can yep. win this weekend. And, and, I, and I saw some online polls that suggested 60% uh, of people want to see this guy win this weekend. So really? you look at the polls two months ago where 30% of the people didn't like the guy. Now you got 60% of the people rooting for this guy this weekend. Uh, you have a book coming out in June that deals with scandals and cheating. Well, what is this book going to tell us? Uh, you know, we, my, my co-author Dan Lear and I did uh, five years of research, and the last couple years we focused really on why men do what they do. And what we postulate in the book is that men are really terrible at talking about their emotions and their feelings, and yet women, they expect certain things to change about men. So we've given a, a women a how-to guide to communicate more effectively with men so we don't run into these kind of Tiger Woods situations. Tiger, Tara, why are you making a face? <laughs> I just, I don't, never mind. I've got so many thoughts on this subject. I, I'll definitely read the book. Oh, though. I, yeah. I, it, I, it, I, yeah. What's I'll it called? I'll give you a signed copy. We don't have the, co we don't have the, the name you of the, the title, title out yet. yet. It oh. should be called Why'd You Do It, You Idiot. Yeah, well, but, but, but... And that would sell. No, I mean, it's, Scott always reminds us it's not just men who cheat. I know, you said 45% of the women cheat, 55% of the men. Correct, and I also articulated that women tend to be more emotional cheaters right. and True. men tend right. to be more physical cheaters. Why'd no, you do it, Tara? Yeah. <laughs> you also said that um, women tend to cheat, or the study said that both would cheat more if they could get away with it, right? Yeah, there was a study done that said it was more hypothetical questions. If you could cheat and never, no one would ever find out, no one would get hurt, would you? The numbers increased. Men, was in the, men were in the range of 75 to 80%. Yeah, but that's probably true for robbing a bank, too. <laughs> yeah, <probably true. laughs> Very good point, Scott. You know what, though? I just look at some people like Tiger Woods. To me, here's the hard part, in my opinion. I, he shouldn't be married, in my yeah. opinion. But oh, yet yeah. he wants a family, yeah. rightfully so, and he wants children. But he's not a guy to me that should be married. Just stay mm -hmm. single. Oh, I agree. I agree. I think do that whatever was one you want to do. That was one of the things he did for more of his brand image. I think that was the challenge he ran into. So he's got his brand image on one hand, but he's right. got this... You know, he's got this this inner tiger that he's right. got to yeah. go out and explore yeah. that wasn't quite tamed yet. Can we just go hit the long ball? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him like ball. the long ball. No, Not. you're right though. The Masters, this is a perfect and he, move on and, his part and, to come and, back. And, and, he, and speaking of purely golf, he thinks he can win this weekend. Yep. I, I mean, think my prediction is he'll be there on Sunday. That well, will be fascinating. An incredible yeah. amount of focus, right? Yep. And he has it. He's, pro he's proven. Well, if that's true, I mean, more of the conversation is going to be about golf and what he was able to pull yeah, off. I agree. Because it's such an emotional thing, oh, the, yeah. the game of golf. Yeah. Yeah. Well, clearly so. he's shown he's capable of compartmentalizing and putting right. his focus right. over right. here right. and right. not thinking about this clearly, stuff. Yes. So I'm not that worried yeah. about Tiger being distracted by yeah. his emotions. Yeah. Well, Mike, thank you. It's always <laughs> fun to talk to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Boy. Had to bring you.